Hello, and today we'll be going over functions and statistics in R. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a function is, functions are commands that do complicated procedures very quickly. Uh, for example, instead of doing a t-test by hand, R can do it in a matter of seconds. You can also do other things like add a bunch of numbers together, create a histogram, make a box plot, and very, very, very quickly. And so, we want to know how to use these functions so that it can speed up our analysis. So here's an example where we might use a, a t-test. Cafe Apps is developing a new iPhone app to analyze the mean amount of time used on their app. The following data set provides the mean time used, by, used on the app for 100 subjects by gender in minutes. Is there a statistically significant difference between genders? And so we have the first column which has uh, the mean times for males and the second column is the mean time for females. If you did this by hand it would take a very long time because as we said there's going to be a hundred observations so it is very very helpful if we could just have a computer do this for us. So we're gonna go and ha do this in R. If you see on the right here in my text editor the commands to do this is first to load the data into R and all of this data is provided in the description below. So you simply load the data from your directory. That's the line number three. And then line number four, we need to know what the, what the data we have is called once we loaded it. So we use ls and that provides a list of all of the objects that we have available in our, um, that we can work with. And then to do the t-test, you simply do t.test on the, the data. And we have one for men and one for women uh, labeled appropriately. And so that's basically it. Then it provides a bunch of in information and uh, output. So let's go through that real quick. So if we were to just run the first two lines of the code, the load and the ls functions. And so we loaded it. And now we're going to see what data we have in the was in the file. So we have a vector of men and a vector of women. And just to check, we can uh, call those just by typing men. So you have 100 observations. Those are the men. And then women, those are those 100 observations. So we know what the data is called, and we know uh, we have the data available. So now we're going to pr uh, perform a t-test just by writing t.test paren men comma women close paren so you hit enter and provides uh, the information about what data was used uh, the t-statistic degrees of freedom p-values and so in uh, and the means for each of the the data sets so it, from this we can see that there is a statistically significant difference and so instead of doing all that by hand and taking all this time we simply had the computer do it and it was much much quicker. In the future though you may want to spec a specific object produced by the function. Uh, for example may we may want to perform a hundred t-tests and we only care about the t-statistics from those 100 t-tests. We don't need all this other information like the degrees of freedom, p-value, etc. So we can do this using loops However, we will not be covering loops today. We're just going to go over uh, to recall the names of the objects that a function produces. So to do that, you go down here uh, on the right from my text editor on line 19, names, the names function does this for us. So if we simply type names, uh, paren t test, paren men, comma women, paren, paren, it will provide the information that we need. So notice that you have to have the function that you're interested in performing its task on real data. You can't just uh, type names and then the function within that with no data. You have to have uh, data in the function that you want in the names of the objects from. So if we do, the, if we look at what this function produces, it tells us, it gives us a list of all of the objects that that function. Uh, produces. So for example, statistic, parameter, p-value, confidence interval, estimate, data names, etc. So these all have special names 
uh, that you might not know what they equate to. So it's good to look at the name. So the T statistic is not called T statistic. It's called statistic. It's really important to recognize when you're trying to get um, a specific object from a function. And so to recall just a specific uh, object from a function that you use, you simply just type a dollar sign right after the function and then the object that you wanted. So for example, for us, we just want the t statistic. So we just simply type, we simply do t.test paren men comma women close paren dollar sign statistic. So if we run this in R, hit enter, it provides the t statistic. And now we can, now that we know how to call specific objects, Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Visit my website rgallion.com for more R and statistics guidance. You can also visit my Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Have a good one.